Greetings, everyone. Welcome back to the NFL Madden NFL 24 Indianapolis Colt franchise. Season number four is about to kick off, and this is your Super Bowl champions, the Indianapolis Colts, coming into season four with a a lot of excitement and a lot of um, moxie. Starting off in a completely different way than we did the last season where we weren't quite sure what was going to happen. We were, uh, but no, we're not going to talk about last season. We got a lot to do before we talk about, uh, before we get into what's going on in this season. The first thing I want to talk a little bit about is, uh, well, the preseason was, was what I was going to talk about, but we played some of the preseason games and there's not really a way to look at the statistics from the preseason. Uh, I'm not standing, sorry. Um, <clears throat> and all I can say is that Anthony Richardson had a very bad preseason. He threw several interceptions in the limited time that he played. So it makes me very curious how he's going to play. He had a pretty bad preseason last time as well. Uh, but let's take a look at let's take a look at our schedule real quick uh, for coming into this uh, into this season. This is the I believe it's the 25 season, 2025 season. Uh, we're going to start off against the Bills here, and then we face the Texans, uh, obviously, and the Jaguars. Got some two, got two divisional games pretty early. We start out at home. We're going to start out with a home game with Buffalo, home game against uh, Texans. Not quite sure. We played Buffalo in the Super Bowl, not in the Super Bowl, in the playoffs last season, and uh, I'm sure they want to get some revenge. So the Bills, the Texans, the Jaguars, the Titans, three conference um games very early in the season right back to back then we got the cowboys the commanders and the eagles dealing with the nfc west we got a pretty good mix of home and away games two home away two home games two away games two home games one away one home so it mixes it up quite nicely uh we play uh, play the browns then the giants packers steelers ravens the raiders yeah we get the raiders again interesting okay and then the titans and the texans um jaguars and then the Bengals at the very end which could be a, could be a tough matchup so i don't know how good teams are i do know that the bills were in the playoff last season i know that the cowboys were in the playoffs last season uh the eagles were not pretty good were not good last season at least statistic uh with a record uh, I'm not sure about the Bengals or I mean the Packers or the Steelers. The Ravens were definitely good last season. The Raiders were good last season. So we've got some pretty good competition if these teams stay as good as they are. It'd be nice to have a little overall right next to these or something, especially for a franchise as we start to move and try to keep track of all these all these teams, who's good and who isn't, and what the strength of schedule is. Maybe maybe a strength of schedule something somewhere i don't know but some way to kind of get a feel for how good or how about how bad these teams are projected to be um okay got a few things to go i think with us winning the super bowl you have to set make a playoffs so we we can't we gotta we gotta set make the playoffs here's a look at the schedule right there yeah i think we can do it <clears throat> we should be able to do it hopefully we'll see we will see Okay, we'll go through some of these things, these three things here in just a minute. Uh, before we do, I want to get into the staff upgrade. I have a 31 points and I'd like to reveal one of our rookie um, hidden dev traits. So this kind of gives me a chance that if you're new and just joining us, you can kind of get a sense for you know what we've done with the draft and who's new on our team and what have you. Here's a change that some of you don't know, and um, I did a few changes. Number one, this is Malone. Technically, if you remember the draft, there was a quarterback that we were looking for. Uh, his last name was Malone, and he was picked up by the Rams. We, we drafted a quarterback as well, ended up trading our quarterback and a left end to get Elijah, I mean, get Malone here. And then I changed his name to Elijah Malone because someone I know very special to me, uh, that is their name. So this kind of fun. He's the backup, 65 overall, and um, 
played okay in the preseason, but that's a change that you guys saw. Otherwise, Anthony Richardson is the starter and is going to be moving everything forward. Trey Hayward is a superstar um, X factor for us, and he is he's got the, the freight train. Uh, let's see, I can go through this really quickly. Reggie Gillum is a new addition as a fullback. We got him. Here's a one of the players. He's a rookie, and he's one of the players who uh, is a um, is a hidden death trait. Sorry, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go to. I'm gonna go to NFL rosters instead of depth chart because that way we can kind of see. All right, so Anthony uh, Alec Pierce, not Alec Pierce. He's a superstar X factor as well. Uh, Verndon. Verndon is a rookie hidden dev trade, 290 yard, uh, 290 uh, uh, um, downs he's played already through the offseason. But I'm very curious about how good this guy is going to be. I love him. Look at this. <clears throat> he's 6'4, 233 pounds. So we're 6'4, 233. 22 years old, out of Oklahoma, 76 overall, 94 speed. The acceleration is low, though. The 88 acceleration is kind of a problem, but he's got 94 top speed. He feels like one of those players that is just going to be a physical, you know, possession receiver that could turn the corner. Could be, um, I don't know, could could be something, look, change of direction is 92, uh, like a rack beast. Right now, his routes are, are not good. He's got great hands, though. And this is a rookie. He hadn't played a down yet in uh, official NFL season. And these are pretty good numbers. There's a part of me wants to know, is he a superstar already? And if he is, we want to go ahead and get him in the game. You know what I'm saying? So that's candidate number one to see who um, filed the hidden death trait. I forgot to mention that Elijah Malone is also a hidden dev trait and he's a player that we won't get he won't get a lot of reps so the thing with the receiver is we might get a lot of reps with him and we might get a chance to know who he is pretty quickly uh, but you know with that quarterback we won't let's see who else do we have <clears throat> the other hidden dev traits are let's see it's um, I know that it's I know that it's a strong safety Reggie Rivers backup strong safety but usually gets in the game I think he'll get in the game a lot he's a player that I'm kind of again he's kind of a backup he, he is a backup to Jaquan Brisker who has played really really well for us so it's not like we're really trying to get rid of him so we really don't need to know his hidden draft trait yet, but man, he is, he looks like he could be a good player. 92 speed, 91, man coverage is a little low, but again, rookie player. So this is another one that we could, we could see. Again, a backup player. I think the guy that we really am interested in is our number one draft pick, Junior Claxton, traded a lot to get him. He's 389. He only is 111 away, though. So feels like we he's going to play. We're going to put him in the starting role. He's going to get reps. So that's a part of me. Probably wants to go to where that receiver. I don't know, man. But those are the four players. The wide receiver, the cornerback, the safety, and the quarterback. All of them are potential people. I'm kind of curious. I think the raw receiver is going to be the one that we want to do I think I want to I, th I think I just want to know want to know I want to know so we're going to go over here and we're going to seen enough we're going to go ahead Junior Claxton we, we could I mean Junior he's an 82 overall right now hasn't played a down yet probably going to be one of our better players we did trade you know what? Maybe Junior's the guy. We're doing it, Junior. Okay, so we chose Junior instead of the wide receiver. Eesh. Let me know if you think I should have went with the wide receiver. Uh, but let me see now, man. I want to know. I hope he's a superstar <laughs> because we gave up a 
big player. Claxton is, oh snap. Claxton is a superstar X Factor. That's crazy. We traded away a superstar X Factor. We drafted this cornerback and he is a superstar X Factor already. Hasn't played a down, an official down yet. Wow. The gamble played off. I mean, paid off. The gamble paid off. We gambled with whether we should, whether we should um, go away from, wow, go away from Eric Stokes or not. Traded the farm, moved up to get Junior Claxton, and he is an all-time player. 84 overall. Self okay, so what do we want here? The most physical. I think we want. I think we just want shutdown. Yeah, let's just go with shutdown. Don't care about recuperation. Uh uh, we don't have he, he's not ranked up enough okay we'll go with this one and we'll go with um, we'll go with flat flat zone is that what we want yeah we'll go with flat zone for now I cannot believe that wow Claxton and he's <laughs> He's playing at an 84 level. He's going to come in playing at an 84 level. He's an 82. Look at this. 95 speed, 93 acceleration, 86 man coverage. Again, hasn't played it down yet. 81 zone coverage. Wow. Wow. What a pick for us. It saved us a ton of money, I think. Yeah, saved us a ton of money. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well. That makes me excited to play defense. Watch, wow, he's gonna get beat. He's gonna get beat like crazy this uh, this game. All right, camp standout. Everything, uh, every year there's players. Yes, 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 we know all of this. I think you're different, but it's time to prove it. Number 90, who's who's number 90? Jaden Fisher, get two combined sacks and tackles for loss. Um, he could be, he could be, he could be a dude. Uh, we could do this. Sacks or tackles for loss with Jaden Fisher against the Bills. Oh, man. It could happen. Ooh, it would be so nice. It would be so nice. There's a part of me wants to move him to the inside. Uh, opening day keys. We're going to start with... Um, it's opening day. We're going to start with offense. We think we can do something on the offensive side. And it's probably, we're going to choose, ooh, I want to say passing game, but we're going to choose the running game. Try to get things started the same way we did last last year. We're going to rush for 150 yards, focus the game plan on rushing. We will do that. All right, now we got a game plan, Mr. Josh Allen. Josh Allen's coming in with everything. We're able to get them. We're going to negate scrambling. Uh, beat the Bills and hold Josh Allen to 74, 75 yards rushing, which is going to be hard to do. Your entire defense will have plus five play recognition. All right, man. That is a lot that we did right there, but it's important, man. We got it. I am not believing that Junior Claxton is who he is. One more one more update I need to let you know about. Uh, we changed our quarter. We moved from nine minutes to eight minutes. Felt like I had a lot of reps a lot of uh, passes and runs that uh, created some statistical difference. So we're gonna see how the uh, we're gonna see how the eight minute quarters play out, which is what I used to do anyway. So anyway, all right, this is a Thursday night game. Gonna go ahead and put on the fancies. We like it. Uh, we might just do. You know what? Let's just do the the color rush with all white with the white helmet today. Nah, 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 nah. We're going to do the black helmets. Where they at? Where they at? Where they at? There they go. Let's go with this. Um, 
Thursday night. So let's see what. Let's go with the red, white, and blue. We can do that. All right. Thursday night, prime time football. Let's get it started. Here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to week number one. It's the Indianapolis Colts. It's the Buffalo Bills. It's the Super Bowl champion Indianapolis Colts. We should put some respect on the Colts name. And Anthony Richardson comes into this game as the reigning MVP. 5,000 plus passing yards last game. 50, I think it was, plus touchdowns. And Josh Allen wants to come in and take out this team to see if the soup to get that Super Bowl slump started. Buffalo was taken out by the Colts in the playoffs, and Josh Allen is ready and willing to take it down. You see, he's a little loose and ready to go. That's uh, getting ready to get this thing started. It's going to kick off the NFL season. It's Thursday night. It's in Indianapolis. The fans are hyped. The people are ready. The kick is up. Let's go. All right. So it's a brand new season. And Josh Allen and this offense is going to come out. We've got our hands full with a 99 overall Josh Allen who's got good speed with his legs, a cannon for an arm. Stefan Diggs as a receiver. Lots to do here, lots to worry about. But there are some key players for the Colts. Nice play up the middle and Jeremiah Pickens comes in and gets the stop on, on Cook. All eyes are on the cornerback Number one draft pick for the court for the Colts. Junior Claxton and Popo able to get there and make the tackle. So third and four, two running plays for ja, for the uh, let's see what we got here for the Bills. See if we can get Fisher in here to make a play. And they do find a tight end. It's Brisker not able to get there. And it's a touch. So, oh, no, it's not the tight end. That's the receiver, McMillan. He's just a big dude. Oh my goodness, this dude is doing everything. <laughs> Popo came and put him to the ground, but Josh Allen, okay. Is that what he's doing? Is that what we doing today? All right, let's see what we got. We take those, and that's Isaiah Rogers with the interception. And the Colts with a turnover early after a big run by Josh Allen. Isaiah Rogers in with the interception. Rogers had an interception, a couple interceptions in the preseason. And maybe he's ready to step up this season. We will see. But they try to go back to McMillan, and Rogers was there waiting. Nice play by the defense. And so now the offense is coming out. Anthony Richardson and the Colts. The championship. Cole, we got to keep saying championship. They the champs. You know what I'm saying? So we got to keep saying it until they ain't. Especially in this first game. So expect to hear the champ is here more than once. All right. Let's see what we got. We're going to try to establish a run game here. Oh, nice running. Oh, I should have just went to the outside. We may have. I'd have had a touchdown if I didn't. Bojangling. 
I'm gonna try to push to the right side now. A couple run plays. Nice run, nice play by. Uh oh, big run. Hayward stays on the feet for a second and the run game is working. It's an injury for the Buffalo Bills. Number 40. Legs looking a little ginger. Gonna bring Pierce over. Hey, we're with a little more. Just get a couple yards on that. Three, three rushing uh, attempts, 31 yards. Uh, the Colts are without Josh Downs. There's a run, and he's going to get to the outside. Power through. Touchdown for the Colts. Let's go. Trey Hayward picking up where he left off. The NFL rushing leader last season shows that he's ready to keep it up this season. Offensive line laying everything out. I don't think we passed the ball at all that game, uh, that drive. Broke the tackle, and he said he was in. I don't know, maybe he wasn't. A touchdown for the Colts. That's going to maybe set up something special for the passing game. That's a lot of, what are these uh, green things in the audience? People just wearing green for no reason? Somebody tell me why they're in all that uh, fluorescent green. Feels like I'm in a Seattle. All right, Josh Allen got to come out. He throws through his uh, through an interception early. McMillan with the catch. No, that was Gabriel Davis. Oh, it's another interception by Rodgers again. The second interception for Isaiah Rodgers. Again, is this is is he going to step up? We've already got two star. Look, they're throwing away from the two stars. Isaiah Rogers running side by side with Gabriel Davis. Wow, what a start for this defense. Pass is caught to Quez Watkins. Watkins with a nice catch. Watkins has been moved to the slot position in order to make room for the rookie wide receiver, Verndon. And another touchdown for Trey Hayward. Mm. And the, the extra effort to push through gets the touchdown and that makes the game 14 to zero. Buffalo does not have good answers for the Colts coming out of the gates. Two interceptions by Josh Allen. That's not what you expect from the 99 overall veteran quarterback. And if you're going to get those receptions, you don't think you're getting them from Isaiah Rogers, but... Both led to intercept. 
interceptions. Now they're facing the deficit. Another touchdown after that previous pick. Starting over here, first and ten. Allen and the Bills now with a first and ten at their own 25-yard line. Try to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. Oh, and they do find his favorite target. They keep going back to him. A little quiet. Sorry about that. Just checking some stuff out. Alright, let's see if we can get something on this play. Oh, and it's a fumble! And who is... Is that Isaiah Rogers again? Oh no, it's 32, it's Blackman. Sorry about that. I was my, my I was looking away for a second. Sorry. Three turnovers. Wow. Indianapolis offense ready to go again. It has been about as perfect of a start to this game as these guys could have asked for, Charles. They've scored on their first two drives. They still haven't given anything up on the other side of the ball. So they can already make this a three-score game here if they can score three points on this drive. All right, second and ten. On the 49-yard line. Oh, it's, it's not pass interference. Totally blocked him. Okay, so third and ten. We got Vernon on the outside. Can we, can he beat this guy? Oh, we got Pierce. We might have Watkins as well. Like we'll see what that. We'll see what all those people do. And it's Pierce with the catch, and that's a first down. First catch for Alec Pierce moves the chains. First and ten on the twenty-eight yard line. Code offense is. Grooving right now. 55 total yards and two touchdowns for Trey. And we're not even out of the first quarter. The rookie with his first catch, and he does get it. Holds on to it. And able to keep the feet in for a reception. Puts us on the five. Richardson's going to run it in himself, and that is a touchdown for the Colts. Buffalo does not have enough for this team, and the Colts are letting the team know, letting the league know, there will be no Super Bowl slump here. Man, it's almost easy. We played the preseason games. This same thing happened last year. We played the preseason games, and all of our preseason games were tough. We did not get, um, I think we lost one of the games in preseason, and we were struggling, especially the first team. First team was struggling to get anything really going. But when the bright lights come on, and the world is watching on Thursday night, both come out with a banger, at least starting 21 to zero. Oh, pass is broken up by the by Julius Brents. Nice play. Almost, uh, almost got away. Fisher going for him. Can't get to him. Flushes him out. 
and Owen Popo is able to get there to make the tackle. Stay in this dime. Play is made to the left side. That's a first down to the receiver. Tight end. Thirty seconds left in the first. Pass is broken up. Juju was there to make the play. Second and ten on the forty-yard line. Now Cook running right. Cook is held back and Jaden Fisher who does have the he's got the scenario this game he's going to be he goes down with an injury oh man that's not what we want to see for him he's a big player for us key player for us no sir in the play action is no go and Calvin Rose and Devin Bush get to the quarterback and end that drive. It's going to be a punt now. Come out with the 4-3 at the end of the first quarter, and Colts fans couldn't be happier right now. What an amazing start. Three turnovers in the first quarter, three touchdowns, two, three rushing touchdowns, two by the All-Pro runner and Trey Hayward and the reigning MVP Anthony Richardson everything is working beautifully at the moment well Hodges couldn't get to the outside and that's a it's going to be us starting with the 16 at the 16 yard line oh good Fisher can come back we're going to go ahead and Allow for the substitution. We'll stay with the run. He wants to carry his team on his back. Staying with the run. Yeah, he's done that. He'll be hoping to continue that trend. You know, we haven't said we haven't said Kyle Kyle Pitt's name today. And I think we might get him right here. Oh, I didn't see that guy underneath. I tried to throw it away from the safety. Third and seven. Tries to slide, but they wouldn't let us, but we do get the first down. First and ten on the twenty-seven. Nice run by Trey Hayward gets four yards on that play, despite there being a few players in the area. Alec Pierce with the nice route. They gave him a lot of room there. First and 10 on the 42. Ball moving down the field. Ooh, I'm glad. I'm glad. I was about to pass it. I believe it would have been intercepted had I thrown it. I was throwing it to Triangle. He would have led it right into the hands of, the, uh, of that corner that was waiting there. Uh, it actually turned out to be the, uh, a much better play. Second and 21 is a grip, though. Oh! Pass is caught by Quez Watkins on the, on the weird play there. Third and 11. Going to 
come out with something deep here. Oh, did he drop it? He drops it. Fourth and 11, and we can punt it. Kick is up. Nice punt. Oh, couldn't get it out of bounds. All right. Second quarter, and uh, already things have slowed down a little bit. We've had to punt. Nice tackle by J Julius Brent, bringing down number 13. Was that Stefan Diggs? Let's go here. See, let's go here. Blackman there to make the tackle. Third and three. No, sir. And Popo is there to make the play. Came out in a dime formation, but the linebackers are quick enough to get it done. And Cook tried to jump on the inside. No go. Three minutes left in the half. First and ten. But still, they've got the lead here, and now a chance to add on to that lead if they can get points on this drive. First and ten upcoming. Another nice run, six yards for Trey Hayward. He's in the zone. Nine, nine carries. That's a first down. I think it's a trip. Like the the players help the other player up, and then they get all feisty with them. Uh, seems like a weird. Seems like a weird flex. All right, first and ten. Richardson looking to throw this. Inter oh! I thought it was going to be intercepted. Wow. Yeah, that was that was a really bad throw on my part. But they they rescued us. What's he doing? Okay. Here's Richardson to throw. Flushed out right. Third and four. I think we're gonna try this screen pass. Although Pierce might get open on the outside, if it's Pierce, we'll go to him. Nice play for the first down. One minute left, just about in the quarter. Another screen play we're thinking about. Going right back to another screen. And we'll call timeout. 45 seconds. We're going to push Alec Pierce straight ahead. See if he can win the one-on-one. -on -one. Oh. We're going to call timeout. He got there super quick. Mm, let's go with the shotgun. Uh, we'll go here with this play. A long way to go here on third down for the eighth play of the drive. Third and eleven. From the shotgun, Richardson. 
Oh, I thought he had it swatted away. 44. Okay, we're going for it. Intercepted. And if, ah, I should have punted it just to save the the statistic. Dang it. Here's what I was thinking. Had the blocks. Thought about running it. Oh, man. But we had here. I'm not sure why it's acting like that. No, we. Well, we did kind of have it. 85 was there. So, really, the first speed bump that this offense has encountered, they'd had the rule of the roost here in this first half, but now slowed up just a bit by the interception. And there's a chance that that's a wake up call for them because you don't want to Oh, they finally hit Stefan Diggs. 38 yard line. If they can get another 10 yards, I mean, they might be in, they may be in field goal range here. Ooh. I don't know why we're in 3-4. 21 seconds left. They go with the quick pass. Now. Oh, and he does make the catch. Number 87, McMillan. And it seems inevitable that they will score something. They've got one timeout left, though. They could mismanage the clock. And the play is broken up. Third and inches. So it looked like someone was very confident in his ability to fit that one in. I would say he was overconfident because there wasn't a whole lot of separation there. Had that one covered pretty well downfield. Let's go! The sack is made. Seven, six, five, four, and they call timeout. See if we can get the block. Had a block in preseason. Nope. But the kick is up and it's good. And the Buffalo Bills do get on the board. Is that the end of the half or do we have a second left on the clock? Nope. We do have one second left. There it is, and that's the end of the first quarter. It's the Indianapolis Colts 21 to Buffalo Bills 3. Super Bowl champs. Still looking like the champs. The defense stepping up in a major way. Two interceptions, one fumble. We threw our own interception in that game, in that, in that one, but it's because we were pressing. Probably shouldn't have been. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose to run inside. And we're going to defend the medium pass. I'm going to try to go ahead and get out of this game a little quicker. I'm going to use the clock. Try to use the clock. Uh-oh. And Quest Rockins gets up the middle, gets the ball to the 40-yard line. Trey Hayward having a great game. They're probably waiting on the run. Uh oh, and that, was that a loss? It's second and ten. That may knock him out of the zone. And he is. He's knocked out of the zone. Third and seven. Don't want to give them any real momentum here. We need to get a first down. I'm going to try this play. I know we'd go to this play a lot, and we don't. We often don't get it on this play. Rich 
But this time, Kyle Pitts, first catch of the day, moves the chains for the Colts, first down. Ooh, I like those jerseys. Have to admit, I might have to give me one. First and 10 on the 34 yard line. Falling forward is Trey Hayward. He's got 13 carries on his way to 100. I took too many steps back. The play was uh, the play that we wanted was there. What a catch! Let's go, Alec Pierce. Wow. And that's just trusting the receiver. Threw the ball away from the receiver. The receiver was actually cutting to the left side. Look, throws it, and is just waiting for him to turn around and gets it. Nice catch. Alec Pierce has... been exactly what we wanted to develop him into. Top tier receiver for us. Homegrown. Okay. Okay. Our offensive our offensive coordinator is uh, lacking some imagination. Richardson looking to throw. Is it? Oh, ho, 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 ho. wait a minute. That got to the that got to the receiver and it was knocked out of his hands. Look at this really dumb pass, but it got there. Look. Oh, my goodness. I think it got there. It did or did it? Yeah, it got there. And it was hit out of his hands. Wow. That would have been that would have been crazy. Alright, looking for Pierce here. And they need ten yards out of it on third. Operating from the gun. And down he goes. Pressure gets him back at the Fourth and thirteen. Ed Oliver with the uh with the sack. And the offense has definitely slowed down. But 24 to 3. It's pretty good. Let's see if this defense is going to be able to respond to what they come up with. Game is not over yet. Lots of things can uh, can still happen. Three points, three, three scoring uh, opportunities is still doable by a Bills D, uh, offense. Oh, I knew it was going to do that. Josh Allen wants to run the ball. Not sure why Rush is there where he is, but... Ooh. Cook with the nice... Nice spin move. All right, Fisher's back in the game. Catch is made by the receiver on the right-hand side of it. It's uh, Gabriel Davis, yep. Gets the first down. <coughs> Touchdown of the game, but they're on the move. First and ten. 
throwing now is Allen. And Diggs has him. Stephon Diggs with the catch, and they're moving the ball. I don't mind them moving it slowly like this. We do need at least Austin Knox with the catch. <clears throat> First down. Systematically moving down the field here. Nice. Way to come and get him. Junior Claxton, the perennial cornerback. Not perennial, but the... Uh, Oh. oh, okay. I thought he was being driven off. Uh, cornerback on the outside, the rookie cornerback, is uh, going to go out. And they go right over there to that side and get a first down pass to McMillan. Sorry for the audio. Not sure why it's doing that. Sounds like I have a short somewhere. I have to go and figure that out. Okay, what do we need to do? We've been doing a lot of man coverage. It's a minute left in the third quarter. We're going to play the pass. They run it, then okay. We're going to come out in the dime formation. Allen with the touchdown. And the play and the option works. And Josh Allen with his first touchdown of the season. Not a passing touchdown, but a rushing one. That's going to make the score 24 to 10 as we get ready to go into the fourth quarter. One second left in the third. Kick is up. Oh, tried to juke off to the outside. We couldn't get there, but that's all right. Get to the 28. And that's going to be... Throw it. I tried to throw it. Oh, no. It's not feeling good right now. Started out on fire. Second and 23. Catch to Kyle Pitts. It was a bad throw. But Kyle Pitts was able to get to it. And that is a first down. Richardson owes Pitts dinner. All right, we might get Pierce on the outside or Verdun. Or, uh, yeah, Verdun. Verdun. Neither. Oh. I went to throw the ball away. So Richardson's got a late release at the moment for some reason because I'm throwing the ball. It's happened multiple times and ball's not coming out. Second and 15. Reynolds should not be in the game. Good catch. Third and seven. 
success. Five for eight to this point. This is third and seven. Dixie Maverick. Dixie Maverick. Go. Now Richardson. Let's one go downfield for Pierce. Oh, and he jumps up to get it, but can't. We are going to go for this. Does not seem like we should. But we are. We're going for it. I feel like we can get it. Who are these receivers in the game? Richardson on fourth down. Flush to his right. Throw the ball. He doesn't throw it. It's a bad choice. Well, it's a bad choice when it doesn't work. Let's go. Owen Popo in with the sack. That's what we want to see. Let's get in there. All right. Junior Claxon's back in the game. Come on, man. You guys got to... I know that they're throwing the ball. I'm going to play up a little bit. Knox gets beat or beats his man. First and 10. Another first down as they call his number again. He's got 15 yards here. But correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah, you're down two scores. I don't think you need to rush just yet, but you can't take your time either. Yeah, even if you don't want to commit to full two-minute offense, you have to up the tempo, up the urgency. Maybe you're starting to mm, a miss pass to his guy. We got to figure out something to at least put some, some more pressure on these passes. Passes are just a little too easy at the moment. Third and three. They, this is this is probably four down territory for them. Oh, that's a touchdown to Stefan Diggs. And the Bills are chipping away at it. He's just gonna go and harass the cameraman. It's a one-score game with three minutes left. After a great start, pretty much a goose egg in the second half right now. They're going to kick it off the Buffalo Bills, believing that maybe they can get a stop, and they may be right. Three minutes is a long time. Uh-oh. All right, let's go back to let's go back to the run and see if we can get something established here. Nice run by Trey Watkins. I mean, uh, Trey Hayward. Come back to the exact same play. Coming right back to the outside. Actually, you know what? No, we're not. Nice run by Hayward once again. He's got his 100 yards. Looks like he's struggling a little bit to get back up. Looking for pits on the outside. Don't have them, um, but the ball is thrown away. <laughs> it says good accuracy. I don't know how that would be considered good accuracy, but I don't mind that it fell safely to the ground that's a first down three minutes left but we need to keep the ball we really need to score Mm, ball should have been thrown to the outside instead of the inside. Well, the 
try to throw some air under it and hope you connect downfield. On that play, they run successful. Four yard run. Third and six. This is a big uh big down here. to do here I, I could be considering a uh, we're not doing that they want us to run it and I'm absolutely not interested in that Nine seconds left. Come on, Pierce. Let's get that comeback route. Oh, pass was there. Had to get rid of it. Had to get rid of it. Let's see what happened here. Was thinking about Pierce. Ah, oh, we might have could have went to Pierce. Oh, oh, he, he had it. Somebody go get him. Oh, I had Alec Pierce, but the strip by is that Tyree Wilson? Wow. Let's take a look at this. We had um, we had Pierce. We had exactly what we wanted. He beats him and I'm I'm great to launch that. And he wow, let's see what happens here. Get ready to throw it and the ball is knocked out of his hands. Right there. Wow. Good play by the by the Bills. And now game is only one touchdown away. With two minutes left on the 39. And he's got nothing but room. And he's going to almost get. Wow. Hands up. Come out with something quick. No, sir. It's a fumble. And the Colts pick it up. Josh Allen drops the ball on the one-yard line on the game-winning drive. Or the game-tying drive. And let's see if he if this is going to stand. Oh, it may not. The knee may have been down. The knee may have been down. Oh, but they are not going to. Couldn't break free, and that's a minute left with the Bills calling timeouts. They've got three of them. Third and six. We need we need the uh, we need a touch we need a um, first down here. Going to Pierce on the slant. Oh, and it was almost intercepted. Fourth and six, and we got to punt it. Well done. 
Buffalo has one timeout left, and they've got 44, 45 yards to go. Allen tries to run it and he loses one. Going deep and throws the ball away. Third and 11. Let's bring some pressure. We're going to bring pressure. They have to throw the ball quickly. Ball is... Miss a miss throw. Okay. Fourth and 11. 16 seconds left. One timeout for Buffalo. And they get the timeout was given. Allen has to throw the ball away with seven seconds left in the game. We are going to come out with the quarter. Put a lot of receivers, I mean uh, running um, cornerbacks in the game. There's a flag on the play. False start. So they're going to have to go 39 yards now. Gonna push out. To throw is Allen. Allen brought down by Brisker, and that's gonna end the game. The Indianapolis Colts hang on. An amazing start and an anemic second half, but the defense able to keep Josh Allen in check. And the first game of the win ends with the Colts with a W. This game belongs to the defense. The offense played well in the first half, but the defense was able to hold back that comeback attempt. Anthony Richardson started out so good that throw two interceptions. Yo, ended up not throwing any touchdowns, but one interception, 12 for 26, 197 yards. Almost all that in the first half. Trey Hayward with a good start to the season. 119 yards for him and two touchdowns. Hayward and Pierce, Watkins, Vernon had his only catch in this game, but the offense didn't look amazing uh, toward the end of the game. Jaquan Brisker, Owen Fapo, Brents all lead the team with eight total tackles. Two tackles for loss for. And let's look at this. Devin White had two. Owen Popo, two tackles for loss. Winners, Short, Bush, Rose, Fisher. What did Fisher do? Fisher had just one tackle altogether. He's probably not going to get his um, keep his get his his situation up. But we do get the W. Coach twenty four to seventeen for the Bills. We start out this season 1-0. Exciting game. It looked like it was going to be a blowout. But they uh, they almost came back. Ah, I know, Fisher. You're probably going to have a great game next game. You probably are going to have a great game next game. But Fisher couldn't quite get it, get it together. Still, I think he's going to be a good player for us. May have another opportunity before the season's done to uh, to get it done. Keys of victory. We are supposed to rush for 150. Oh, we weren't able to have six that we success that we planned for. I forgot about that. We needed 150 yards rushing, but we still did get the win. What? Um, 
how many yards did we end up with? Rushing yards did we end up with? Uh, we had 132. Oh, man. Dang it. I forgot all about that. I think we did get this situation, though. We were able to successfully uh, hold Josh Jacobs to, I mean, Josh Allen to under 75 yards scrambling, which he almost got. The entire defense gets a nice upgrade. Man. <clears throat> Wish we could have gotten that Russian one. All right, let's go ahead and advance the week. Move it forward to. Face off against the Houston Texans. Why did we sign a practice player? Did we lose a guy? Injury report. He didn't lose a guy. So why did we sign? Why did we sign a practice play? Oh, somebody, somebody else probably said the Cardinals. The Cardinals signed a player from our deal. Okay. Oh, we got a trade offer for the left tackle. He's a backup for us at the moment. Let's see what you got. Don't need it. Hmm. Dexter Middleton. Don't really need a middle linebacker. Derrick Henry in a fifth round. Morris Williams. Paul Claiborne. Wow, lots of players interested in this guy. Greenyard. Okay, I don't see anybody that. Hmm. Niles Gordon. A lot of cornerbacks. Ooh, look at this. <coughs> An 80 overall cornerback. No, I, I want to. Can I count the offer here? San Francisco, <clears throat> an 80 overall cornerback. That's 26 years old. I don't think we absolutely need it. Cortland Sutton. Interesting. Wow, they want that guy. Um, okay. Um, I don't think I'm gonna take any of those. But if they offer something else, maybe I'll maybe I'll look at it. All right, Houston Texans is 83 overall everywhere. Let's take a quick look at the team, see what's new with them, and then we will wrap this. We'll wrap this uh, episode up. Tua Taco Bailoa. Okay, so CJ Shroud is no longer with the team. Tua is with the team. Damian Pierce was beast mode against us last time we played him. DJ Moore, former coach for just a few games. Now playing on the other side. We'll have to face off against DJ Moore and Tank Dale. Dalton Schultz. Offensive line is okay. Defensive line is okay. We might be able to run up the middle. We gotta worry about Jordan Brooks. Hmm. And we may be able to pass the ball. So hmm, not too bad. I think it's a it's a winnable game. They're 83s and um, could be something special. Hey, thanks for hanging out with us. I thoroughly appreciate it. All right, we're off to season number four. Got our first win. These are indeed exciting times. Thanks for hanging out. I appreciate you. Hit the like button if you liked the video. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell notification so you know when the Texan game goes live. This is Pastor's Game 2. God loves you and so do I. And I will see you when I see you. Peace.